Welcome back to Goten Lisa, where this episode, this video is going to be Lisa Cooks and Eats. Now, I should caption it and title it The Best Poison in the World, but what I'm actually making today is some ackee and sawfish. There's so many different variations on how to cook it, but I'm going to cook it my way, the quick and easy way, where it's also healthy. So join me today as I make some ackee and sawfish. Um, what you hear in the background is the kettle. So some stuff is already being um, boiled and pre-started, um, but you're not missing the, the best part of it. And I'm also rocking my new haircut. This is my second big chop for the um, within four months. So you see, chopped off all my hair again. Chopped up on my hair again. But I have to do that in order to take out the blonde that was left over from before. But you can check all of that on my other channel, which is Not Too Late Natural Hair. Not Too Late Natural Hair. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel, Go 10 Lisa. And all of this you can get at your local Jamaican or island store. If you don't have one, then I'll give you some alternatives that you can pick up at Publix or some supermarket, but the best thing to do is to get it at your local Caribbean or Jamaican store. Let's get started. Okay, so right now the kettle is boiling and that's boiling, that's boiling, everything is boiling. So before I get started, I'm gonna show you what and what I'm doing. So right here is Bami. Bami is one of the best side dishes uh, you can add to any meal. If you don't know what it is, this is what it is. I picked this up at my local Jamaican um, store um, just a few minutes ago. It's not that expensive. And basically what I did is that I cut it up and now I'm going to add some milk. The best milk is used as whole milk or skim milk. But the only thing I have right now is almond milk because you know I have been juicing. So hold on while I get the um, almond milk. Okay, so I've gotten this almond milk. And basically what I'm gonna do is pour it all over the bami. And this is to break it down um, to let it soak. I can use all of this. That's not fair so all I'm going to do is soak it and then we're going to fry it. Here, making a mess, is the can of ackee because I don't have an ackee tree here in Georgia, unlike Florida where you can grow naturally. See how expensive it is? It's like, how much is this? Like $10.99. So I've already like opened it up and what I'm going to do is drain it out. I have the bananas in there getting ready to go into the pot. We just need to drain this out first. Then I'm going to add it to this bowl. And then I'm going to scald it off with some hot water for a few minutes. That's why the kettle is boiling. You have a couple of options to do. You can put the ackee into a pot and then add it with water and then boil it on the stove. Or you can do it my way as well, which is just boil the kettle of full of water till it's the maximum temperature and then once you hear your kettle going off then you add it to your bowl the water to the bowl and let it sit there for um, at least five minutes or, or more as you saw I have green bananas you can pick this up at any store and what I'm gonna do is the lazy way of doing it the way that we used to do it in Jamaica is that you pour turn on the hot water and then the hot water will kind of like soften it up a little bit and then you cut off the edges and then take off the green skin. But I'm gonna do it the lazy way today because I don't have time for that right now. So as you can see, I have the water boiling here for the bananas. And I'm actually going to add some oil to the water. Just a little bit of oil. Why? Because banana stains. And if you don't, you're gonna get this stain in your pot. So by adding the, the oil, is not to stain up your pot. There is a kettle that's boiling up. This pot is gonna be for the saltfish, 
and this part is going to be for the plantains that I've already cut up right here and add some oil to this but now let me um, drain off a little bit of this water here I can actually pour it over the um okay I'll let this boil up some more pour, pour, pour it over the bananas and actually here so now I'm going to add the salt fish because the water for the banana is not boiling up as of yet. I'm going to turn it up a little bit more. I haven't turned on the stove for the plantains yet because um, I'm waiting for the bami to um, soak a little bit more. Get this going. So, let's make sure that this is like coated and soaking in the milk. I'm just gonna leave this here, throw this out. This is actually the sawfish that we're going to use that I picked up at the local Jamaican store as well. Not too expensive also. Um, but this is what we're gonna, you see how much salt is in there? That's why they call it sawfish. Um, and we're gonna actually boil off a lot of that salt water, that salt on there because I can't deal with the salt. Okay. Okay, so I've just added the saltfish to the pot. I had to rinse it off first to get a lot of the salt off. And now what I'm actually going to do is, I am going to take off, show you the shortcut way of doing the bananas. I just cut the end and then slid it down the middle. And now I'm adding it to the pot as I go. Cut off the ends and just, Lift it down the middle so it can open up when it cooks. I'm gonna do this all the way for all of them. Just split it anyway. Try not to overcrowd the 
popped, and this is something that you have to pay attention to, depending on how right your phantoms are, because it will burn easily. <laughs> As you're taking some out that's already cooked, you can start adding in the others to be cooked.
am going to cook up the ackee. Making sure that the stove is hot. Hope you can see. Some tomatoes, onions, and some pepper. travel to Jamaica and they serve this up because this, this could be eating breakfast, lunch and dinner, snack, anytime you want ackee and saltfish, you can cook it up. But when people say the ackee, they think it's eggs. But it's not eggs. I have the saltfish. I am just going to crumble it up. Some people fry the saltfish after they boil it. I just crumble it up and boil it because I can't. is a scotch bonnet pepper so you see how yellow it is this is the green ones and the green one is just as peppery hot but the lighter it gets at like the yellow and the red and and you know the higher colors the hotter it is and especially um, if you cook it whole sometimes in some dish well because I love pepper if I add this whole thing right now the whole dish is going to be so peppery you couldn't eat it Keep it in the freezer, so I'm just going to chop off a piece and then just cut it up over the dish. I like to add a couple of pieces, you know, it's a seed that makes it hot too, you know. And add it all over the dish. <laughs> One more little piece, it's going to be hot. And then I am going to cover it up. Wash my hands. And I want to show you guys the um, the banana and what I was talking about as far as it opening up. You see what happens when you split it? It opens up. And then I'm going to let it cook and then the color turn from green to almost black but it's like dark green and then you know all of them should be open up and let it cook a little bit more and then you can turn it off and wait for to serve it up when you get ready to serve it up this is the bammy and this is the plantain 
So I'm just gonna clean up a little bit right now. Um, and all that's left is for the ackee and sawfish to cook up some more. And then I'm going to plate it up. Mmm. And by the way, I meant to say with the ackee from before that it's not really poisonous um, in the can. You know when it's poisonous is when it's on the tree and it doesn't open up by itself the aki has to open up by itself you can't force it to be open because once you force it when it's on the tree to be open that's when it's poisonous so you just have to let it open up by itself and sometimes it fall on the ground and what have you that's good as long as it open up by itself okay all right i'll be right back when i plate up everything and i'll show you what that looks like in a few seconds in a few minutes rather okay folks there you have it you have the banana the yaki and sawfish the bami and the plantain the plantain the blacker it is the sweeter it is mm. to the steam how hot it is and i cleaned up a little bit and basically i'm going to eat right now do you guys like my new haircut don't worry it will outgrow so anyway I am going to chow down on this food and taste it and if it don't have enough pepper in there I, all I'm gonna do is add some more mmm but then again I love pepper so I may add a little bit more cause I don't taste any pepper yet but it may come as I'm eating and eating more and more once again, guys, thank you for joining me again on another video on Lisa Cooks and Eats. Um, once again, today's recipe um, was ackee and sawfish with banana and plantain and some bami. Um, you know, every Jamaican make um, their ackee and sawfish differently. This is just the way I make it. I hope I inspire you to eat a little bit more Jamaican food. Okay, thanks again for joining me and have a wonderful day. And go make you some and don't forget to subscribe, which is underneath the video, and hit the bell so therefore you're notified. And guys, it wouldn't be right without some pear. We call it pear, but it's actually avocado. So I just cut me some and that's my healthy fat and actually that's how we eat it in jamaica we actually have like a pear or avocado as you call it in almost every meal um, especially dinner time I'm going to chow down on it okay talk to you later bye